Hi and welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Vince. Thanks for stopping by. You're very welcome here indeed. So the YouTube video that's titled Is Fasting Beneficial for Longevity? that was produced by the YouTube channel Peter Atia MD is 12 minutes and three seconds in duration. Let's break it down and let's just look at the key points. And please remember, now that I've semi-retired, I get to watch between 20 and 30 longevity type videos every day, as well as reading articles, blogs, scientific studies, and listening to podcasts when I ruck run and ride my bike. And I only review videos like this one that I think are going to give good longevity value. So although it's a critique of Peter's original video, it's certainly not a negative criticism. Dr. Atia begins by addressing common inquiries about long-term fasting and its potential benefits for longevity, distinctly separating it from fasting for calorie reduction. He expresses a blend of expertise and personal struggle with this particular topic, highlighting his comprehensive knowledge despite his reluctance to discuss nutritional matters. He says fasting, particularly caloric restriction, has historically been recognized for its role in extending life across various species a process studied extensively alongside rapamycin, a drug noted for similar effects. Initially, Dr. Etier embraced fasting as a critical component of his longevity strategy, employing rigorous fasting schedules that included water-only fasting for up to 10 days per quarter and shorter monthly fasts. But over time, his views on fasting have evolved significantly. He candidly shares that while his early protocols were crafted without any scientific backing, they were based on extrapolations of animal studies and his interpretations of fasting's cellular benefits. Today, Peter Atia continues to employ a form of time-restricted eating, emphasizing its role in caloric management rather than as a magic bullet for longevity. His current routine includes delaying his first meal until the afternoon. Now he focuses on maintaining muscle mass, making a significant shift from his earlier, more extreme fasting practices. He concludes by acknowledging the complexities and the personal nuances of fasting as a tool now for his longevity. He emphasizes the importance of individualized approaches and the need for more extensive human studies to better understand the optimal fasting protocols and more importantly, the long-term impacts on human health. This discussion is framed as a personal narrative intertwined with scientific exploration, offering a comprehensive look at the intricacies of fasting and their tie to longevity. And while I hope you found that interesting or informative, hopefully both. I'm now OMAD, one meal a day for between three and five days a week. Let me know what is your fasting protocol if you have one. And like Peter Etier and mine, has it developed over time?